Good morning, you guys. So um, I'm quite amazed that I was able to get here on time this morning since uh, it's summer now. And so I have kids home. And so we'll we'll kind of see whether this time actually works or not, but we'll, we'll see how they do. Um, so today, I'm just quickly going to share this. All right, so today we're actually going to be painting some ornaments. Just one moment, just going to share this so then people can find where I am. All right, and done. All right, so we are going to be painting. These are my snowman faces. So we're going to be painting them onto little ornaments. So the place where I get these ornaments is actually the dollar store. So it has the, you know, the shatterproof ones. And so they're really great when you have families. I don't know how many stories you guys have, but I definitely have stories of my kids pulling down the whole tree and how many precious ornaments got destroyed in that. So I'm a huge fan of the shatterproof ones. All right. So um, what I have is what we get from the Dollar Tree. So there's large ones that sometimes I use... Um, for doing family ones. So then you could do like large ones as a mom and dad and stuff like that. And then little ones can be the little baby ones. And I decided today, and so that one comes with like 12 for a dollar. And then, um, oh, and that's, that's the ornament I just dropped. All right, so, and this one is the size we're doing today. So this is a medium size and it comes with 12. So enough to cover, I think most people's families. Grab my ornament that I dropped. All right, so this is the size we're gonna be doing today. All right, nice and simple. All right, and so we're gonna start off, and um, you know, I don't have my regular station set up. Oh, there we go, because I figured it, it, it was a pretty small thing, so we'd be able to manage. All right, so what I have right there, sorry about the green, is just not cleaned well. All right, so I have my orange, and kind of like a really light pink, and black and white. So just those four colors and you only need a very little bit. I mean, if you're doing a, a big group of them, you still don't need a ton. So, um, okay, just make sure it's decent. So I actually lucked out really good and I got a whole pile of these um, because I was, I'm hoping to be able to get into a craft fair later come Christmas time. And so I'm going to make a pile of these. And I actually caught it right after, right after Christmas and was able to get, um, I don't know, I think, I think almost 200 of them and they were all like 50% off. So those, you know, the, the pack of what this 15, I got for 50 cents. So, I mean, it can be a super affordable way to do Christmas presents. And yes, I know it's not Christmas yet, but it's always nice to get ahead. All right. So I got it set up and we're just going to do eyes. So kind of roundabout and I got a really thick brush for this today um, just that the end is really thick so I can just cheat and just do easy dabbing let's see make sure you guys can see a dab and a dab all right it didn't quite go on as thick as I was hoping so let's get a nice big solid dot right, there we go that's much better and you can move it around a bit to give it a shape but if you're able to find a shape that is already easy that you can just work with and you can just dab it and that is very helpful. All right, so just moved around. So those are gonna be our eyes. All right, and then I'm done with that one. All right, and then the other paintbrush we're gonna use is just a really fine paintbrush. Make sure it's zooming in on that. There you go. Oh, it was there for a second. So a really fine brush. All right, and so we'll leave that white alone for a minute, and we're gonna do the nose. So this is probably the, the trickier part other than the outlining if you choose to do it. All right, so just go around. Can you guys see that well enough? Here, let me pull you just a touch closer. All right, so go a nice little, almost like a, a C. You guys can see that okay and then you just kind of do some bumps similar another little C and then just a little kind of triangle pointing up at the end and that's our lovely carrot nose go back and fill it in a bit do this bump just a little bit more you guys are getting a much better view of this than I am there you go, so cute little nose. Just trying to get those little bumps in there. 
and you can put it, you know, you kind of start under the the edge of the one eye and then right under the other one and now I'm painting it on. <laughs> All right. Luckily we're working with acrylics and it came off really easy. All right. And so what I often do instead of actually cleaning my brush properly is I just wipe off the excess paint and move on to the next color. So, not always the best way to do it. Sometimes it doesn't turn out right, but for the most part it works out good. All right. So then what we're going to do is I think we're going to do the black. Okay, and so we need our snowman to have a smile. Um, and like this. Okay, and I'm going to have to look at it to get close to the other. There we go. Got our little outlines for a cheek, right? Make it a little bit more similar. So you're just trying to make them look similar to each other. All right, and I think we will do a wiggly. A wiggly face. There you go, nice little wiggles. All right, doesn't seem to be zooming in quite as well. There we go. So nice and simple. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> All right, and then we'll go ahead and use the black and try and get quite a bit on because that white probably isn't dry yet. Unless you're doing a group of these, then you know, you've had time to let it dry, but we're not gonna really let it dry too much today. So maybe I'll even just use the back dabbing again. And we'll just dab a little into the eye. There you go. He's looking around. Okay. All right, and this fabulous guy needs some eyebrows. So let's give him a couple of nice and high eyebrows. All right, looking really good. All right, so how simple is that? All right, and sometimes what I like to do, um, especially with the nose, is normally I would wait till it has dried a little bit, but for the sake of everybody being able to see it, um, we'll go ahead and try and trace it out. So when you give it an outline, so we'll start on this side. A nice little outline. And you know, sometimes it's even fun to cheat on this part and just like let it dry and grab a permanent marker. <laughs> so that's a nice way to be able to cheat on this. All right, so I wanna show you guys this part. Okay, good. My paint fell, but it's, uh, it's all good. All right, and then you just kind of go down a little bit into the orange. Okay, and this side too. Just down a little bit. All right, and start into it. And the other side. And the outline. All right, so that makes it so then you can just see it a little bit better. There you guys go. So how simple is that? So that's something that you can definitely do for, for Christmas. You can do all different shapes of eyes. You can go online and you can do teardrops, you can do circles, you can do triangles, lots of different triangle ones that are super cute. I have a couple of those ones. But um, but yeah, no, I do uh, I do lots of snowmen in my crafting. That was actually, um, that's actually my theme for selling is snowmen. And so that's one of the cute little ornaments. And I mean, with the ornament costing a few cents, really, you know, maybe maybe eight cents. I mean, it's definitely a wonderful and easy gift that anybody can really do. Your kids could probably even help a little bit to do these ones. And then um, they actually do come with a cute little golden string for a hanger. Okay. And then what I like to do actually to let it dry is use the wells from my other paint things. So as you can see, it can hold it and uh, I've gone and lost it. <laughs> okay, well that's about it for our live today. So nice simple ornaments and you can do them in all kinds of shapes and sizes and they turn out beautiful. I've actually even did it on one of the uh, the star-shaped ones too and it turned out great and the kids just loved it. All right, and then you can even add the pink to do the cute little cheeks. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the ornament I just lost isn't gonna be bad enough and I'll post a picture so then you guys can all see it. All right, you guys, I hope you guys have a lovely day and uh, if you guys are getting 
you know, some ideas started for Christmas next year. If you're making stuff, then this will be a great way to get started. All right. I hope you guys all have a great day. I hope you guys are enjoying summer and that this might ha help you think of cooler ideas so then you can stand out. We're, we're out here in Texas and it got to 104 just the other day. So that's pretty brutal. All right, y'all. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.